Seems like he's in game. <sighs> Alright. So this game we're seeing jungle set. And jungle set is actually pretty interesting, I think. Uh, I have a lot of thoughts about jungle set. Like he's a really quick jungler. He clears the camps probably faster than any other jungler there is. So he's probably one of the fastest junglers out there. Uh, however, he's not too he's not strong at all before level six. So if you get into a, like one versus one skirmish or two versus two, it's gonna be really hard for you to manage to come out of uh, come out on top somehow because you don't have too much damage before you get that level six before you get your ult and all of that extra damage. So Zed is pretty much a farming jungler, like much like Malphite and Amumu and all of those champions that get really strong after level six. Uh, however, in this in this meta that we have right now, you mo uh, most people prefer to to run like a tanky jungler, simply because you run if you run a tanky top laner and a tanky jungler in the same team, you'll have the ability to. Just jump on the enemy team's AD carry because you want you want to have one single tank uh, that will have to dive in and be focused by everyone and just just get shredded down instantly. So you want to have those two two hard bruisers, two tanky bruisers just rushing in for the enemy team's AD carry. Uh, in this case, Draven, who doesn't even have an escape or anything. So. In most games, you'll see tank, a tanky jungler and a tanky top lane simply because they want to do, they want to dive the AD and they want to have two people diving uh, together to not have one single guy tanking all the damage and just uh, to just die. Uh, aggressive junglers can work, however, but you'll need some kind of kills early game to to really snowball the game in your favor it's pretty much like set is pretty much like Lee Sin only that set has a lot more damage late game if you go for a more burst build uh, however he's still he's still not tanky at all a late game if you build him uh, if you go for the burst kind of build we have Sack and Diana to dive though yeah, of course you have two people to dive. Uh, however, Diana usually isn't too tanky, and Sack not too tanky either, unless he goes for full tank. Now he's topping though, so he will probably go for full tank. So they will have one tank on their team. Uh, however, Diana is not that tanky to be honest. I have getting my random teammates into the split push stat. Any tips? Split pushing is really hard to pull off in solo queue actually. Like that's why I think Shen is a really overrated pick in solo queue. A lot of people pick Shen just because like oh I've seen him in a tournament and he's so good, like Wicked is so good and Shen is split pushing all day. But in solo queue it's really hard to play split push comps because your teammates won't uh, won't listen to you. It, it's similar to having a Nidalee on your team or something with an odd mechanic, kind of odd mechanic that doesn't uh, that you can't really find in many champions. Like if you have a Nid uh, an AP Nidalee, uh, you really need to wait for her to poke before you try to engage or something. And that's also something a lot of people, in, especially in low elo, say that oh AP Nidalee is the worst champion. She doesn't do any damage. And that's simply because they engage before they just engage before they let her poke. Like you have to let a Nidalee poke. The same thing applies to Shen. You need to to open to give Shen opportunities to to split push. And in solo queue, it's so easy for your teammates to get caught. Like it's so so easy to get caught. You can't really make your teammates avoid. You can't really make your teammates avoid getting caught because they they will always get caught. You can't count on your teammates for sharing so cute. But she needs to have a good aim. My Nidalee always fails spear mode on. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, of course she can be bad if you don't play her correctly, but 
she's not a bad champion. A lot of people still say she's a bad champion simply because they don't know how to play with her. That's pretty much it. Uh, that's pretty much it. What's up, deal? He doesn't have silver pattern. Uh, probably because he didn't play rank la uh, last season or didn't get silver last season. What's up, Cicolix? All the champions are good for something or in combination with something, they can be OP. Yeah, everyone, all the champions, except, except for one champion, guys. The fucking pig woman. Jesus, I hate the fucking pig. The pig woman is so fucking useless. Like, she has her ultimate, but she's just so fucking bad, dude. The pig woman <laughs> sucks balls. Honestly, the pig woman is so fucking bad. I hate the pig woman so much. Sejuani is so fucking bad. For real. For real, guys. If anyone here plays Sejuani, go go quit the game, guys. Do something else. Sejuani is so bad. She's just so bad. I hate her so much. But anyways, back to the game. We have uh, Hesaya run on said jungling. Uh, he's up against the Sim Sao jungle. Which means he don't want to find him in his jungle, who he doesn't really want to counter jungle too much unless he knows exactly where exactly where Sin is. Simply because Sin is so strong early game, especially early game, he's so strong uh, during the entire game uh, as well. But early game one on one, he's so strong, and there's not a lot of champions who can really straight up fight him. So we see. This is a pretty interesting start. Might have been a misbuy or something. But it seems like Zack is starting Elixir of Brilliance, two L potion and two wards. Elixir of Brilliance doesn't really help you too much. Uh, the reason to why you go Elixir of Fortitude is pretty much because you wanna bait someone into going all in. And then you have that little bit of extra HP. But from this uh, from Elixir of Brilliance, blue uh, blue pot. You only get a little bit of ability power and CDR for three minutes. It doesn't really ha it doesn't really help you too much. I'd rather go for that Elixir of Fortitude in that case and try to go for first blood. So Renekton has, actually has Elixir, so we'll have to so we'll be able to see the difference probably on top lane between the, those two. So he's starting red, uh, which is what I would have done as well. Now when you're jungling, uh, the most, the, the best possible start for everyone is most likely going to be starting red. Uh, starting red buff makes it a, uh, makes your bot lane able to pull for you. Uh, you have one more more champion to help. What the fuck? Oh well, you have one more champion to help you with red buff. He doesn't have it now though because they're AFK. But in general, starting red buff uh, when you're blue team and Starting blue buff when you're red team is the way to go simply because you have the help from your bot lane and It doesn't set your top lane behind in any way if you start blue buff on this side uh, Your top lane will pretty much miss uh, two or three creeps because of it Are you drag players? Oh shit, I forgot to drag players Sorry guys, I forgot to drag the players Now it should be right. No, it's not right That's right Sorry for that. So, he's cleaning his, uh, his jungle. He went for wolves first though, which is not really what you want to do. However, in this game, uh, Lux stole his big wraith, so he wouldn't have hit level 3 on blue buff if he didn't do it. He's getting kind of low, low, uh, low though, and he's popped all of his potions. So, I'm not sure about what he's going to do now. He can't really gank uh, this early simply because Sin is going to be so strong and if he shows up to counter gank mm, Zed and whoever else is with him they're not going to be able to win a 2 on 2 battle Oh! The Blob! Getting ganked! Blob OP though Managing to escape He actually tries to go for a gank mid He'll have to be really careful though when ganking with his low, uh, this kind of low HP, feeding a double buff to a lane this early in the game 
is really devastating. Like, at any cost, you wanna just. You wanna avoid feeding your buffs, obviously, but this early in the game, feeding buffs to your. Uh, to the enemy lane, it's gonna be really devastating for your. Uh, for your own lane. So, yeah. Farming, getting that spirit stone. <sighs> spirit stone and mad Reds is pretty equal. Is equally good on Zed, pretty much. Mm, for most, what the hell? He go? He's going all in without any kind of ward coverage. Like, if you're going all mid, mid, uh, all in, mid or top, you don't. You want to have some kind of vision at least. Like he didn't have any kind of vision here, and he has decided to go all in man mode. He didn't even have a pot running or anything. Mm, that was a pretty big misplay. So yeah, picking up a lot of free experience mid. Uh, this is something everyone should think about doing. Uh, if you're, if the mid laner has died or if the mid laner is not here, always go to pick, up, always go to lanes to pick up free experience. It always sets you uh, further ahead from the enemy jungler. It, just, it gives you so much. If you just get like one or two waves from a, from a lane, it gives you so much experience as a jungler. It's just. It can be game breaking sometimes. Oh shit. The barrier baits, dude. The barrier baits. Let's suppose you see the enemy jungler gank top lane, for instance. Now he shows to go top and help or gank mid or bot. It depends on what jungle you are playing and what jungle they have. Also, what the top lane matchup is, of course. Like in this game, Zed is really weak early game, so he doesn't wanna he doesn't wanna challenge Sin in a one versus one or in a two versus two for that uh, for that matter. At least not before he gets his ult, because he's gonna be so weak compared to Sin. Where's the pop flash here? <sighs> How much gold does he have? 450 gold, so not too much gold right now. He's level 4, soon level 5 though, so I think he's a little bit ahead of Sin. I see they're pretty even right now. Sin picked up an assist, set his 7 minions ahead. Oh, so uh, yeah, as you can see here, Sin is not really able to do anything early game. He's so weak before he can get. Uh, some items and his ult as well. That that two versus two was so easily won by simply because Sin is so much stronger early game than said. Alright, so getting a longsword here, Pro we'll probably want to get boots soon though and a vampire scepter as well. So yeah, the Renekton getting a kill onto the blob, the blob is not being strong enough to deal with the crocodile I guess. So now he's simply clearing his jungle, not too much he can do right now, uh, he's set a little bit behind uh, Sin right now. Uh, picking up his red though Should be clearing out the entire jungle now because he's a little bit behind and he can't he still can't challenge said Or sin sorry Sin actually going for a spirit stone too though, which is kind of questionable because a sin You want to just stack health and get as tanky as possible and you want to rely on the damage you get from from your madras when you're clearing your jungle So right now you can see here again Sin being so strong that was a nice bait though. But as as Sin Sao, you really want to get this Madras because that's pretty much what you're relying on for your jungle clear speed. Like without having the Madras Blood Racer, uh, jungling is gonna take forever, dude. Oh shit, this is dangerous. Oh, nice Dukes. No. 
So yeah, Cell is still really weak early game. And without any kind of like uh, movement speed or any kind of sustain in the jungle, he's gonna be really vulnerable to ganks or getting found in the jungle or whatever can ha whatever may happen. Is it worth is it worth upgrading to Riggles? Most of the time, it's not worth it. Uh, on Sin Sao, it's most it's not really worth it too often. Sometimes it may be when you feel like you really need. Uh, the lifesteal whatever but that's pretty much if you have like a super tanky top lane like say you have Malphite top lane then you might want to consider going uh, upgrading your madras into Riggles uh, but else you kinda just you just want to rush those tanky items like get a giant spells really early just stack that HP and armor just gets really tanky I see a twitchy on it Shouldn't set go for Madras. Set going for Madras or Spirit Stone. Uh, you can argue for that in uh, hours. Uh, I myself prefer to go Madras, but I know a few people going for Spirit Stone as well. Spirit Stone helps you in the way that it increases the damage you do with Q and E. On it increases the damage you do with Q and E and your spells. In the jungle, and Zed has a couple of spells. He has his Q, he has his E, and those from his shadow as well. But. Oh shit. I kinda zoned out there, sorry. Hey, you sound Swedish? Yeah, am I right? Yeah, I'm Swedish. But most of the times it's not worth it upgrading to Riggles. Uh, you could argue that it's worth on some champions because the war the free ward you get. But most likely you just want to get as tanky as possible, as fast as possible, and going for Riggles will just slow down your tankiness by so much. And I wouldn't go Spirit Stone on Sin Sao either. That's pre pretty much the worst champion to go Spirit Stone on, I would say. Simply because you always go super tanky on Sin, and if you go super tanky, you're gonna have such a hard time clearing the jungle if you don't have matters for the proc. In my opinion, Regals is only good on Lee. It's pretty good on Shaco as well, and there are a few more junglers that can use Regals to their their advantage. And actually, most uh, most of the games right now. You still want to go for a, a really tanky, a really tanky Lee Sin, which makes you not able to pick up that, pick up that Regals that early, because you, you just need to be really tanky. Like having a team without tanks is just too weak at this point. Like the other team with uh, who has all of these bruiser tanks, they just gonna stomp you in team fights or in skirmishes or whatever. So most likely you're not gonna upgrade to Riggles because you need that HP or that extra tankiness for fights. So you can see Sin going for uh, a Locket of the Iron Solari here, uh, which is a great choice for Sin. Mm, however, he will have a pretty hard time farming the jungle from now on since he went for Spirit Stone. Oh! The place! The place, dude. The place. Managed to get a kill there. He went for the spirit of the elder lizard, uh, which is not. I wouldn't say that's a too great item on said. Rather get more damage. I don't know. It's pretty good stat wise, but there are a lot of more more useful items. Like it's it's pretty good. Uh, however, I would still consider going for BT first or. Something with even more damage than this. You, you, it gives you 45 attack damage and 10% CDR. Uh, so it's it's not a bad item for Zed. Uh, but I would prefer going for Madras and then rushing a BT or something with more damage. Because Madras simply helps you... I think it helps you more than Spirit Stone while clearing camps. At least now after they changed the jungle so that the small minions have so little HP. And the big ones have a lot more HP, so you're gonna you're gonna be clearing the small minions on your Q and E anyway. So you're gonna want the Madras to 
to do more damage to the big one. Like, as you can see, he's clearing the small minions just by AoEing anyways. So having matters here would be a better choice in my opinion at least. So no vision at all uh, down bot lane and not on dragon either so these guys are probably going to die. Oh! Oh! What? Kind of a questionable play there. So three people being bot lane. Renekton going down mid lane to stop uh, Diana and Zed from pushing, which are, which is a really good move. They might he might lose his top turret though, so I'm not sure if that's gonna be worth it. Blue team is forced down bottom. Uh, still doesn't uh, aren't still aren't able to defend the turret, but right now. Set is sitting on his Spirit of the Elder Lizard, um, Vamp, a Vamp Scepter and Tier 1 Boots. Uh, he's getting a little bit stronger, uh, but he's still not as strong as he... As I think he could have been, if he would have gone for this Madrids and uh, later built into that BT or something. And if you compare him to his counterpart, which is Sin Sao, Sin is gonna be a lot stronger when it comes to team fighting and and just skirmishing overall. However, you can see the difference in farm right now. Set is sitting on 56 farm, uh, while Sin has only 38. So that kind of proves that Set is such a fast uh, jungler. Like he's one of the fastest junglers out there. Uh, so if you if you're not really the gank heavy type of jungler. Uh, you might want to consider Zed as a champion to pick up because he has uh, he clears the jungle so incredibly fast however his ganks are not too strong his ganks are not too strong until he reaches level 6 well compare bot lane's farm yeah so they just died pretty much so bot lane is losing pretty heavily might be able to pick up a kill here though oh Nice snipe, got a free kill there, he could get this guy as well, probably, or not. Leona too, thank you for that. Hmm, kind of a questionable W there, he could have waited and just W over the, over the wall instead. Uh, but, a little bit of misplay there. Probably kind of feeling the pressure of people watching him, watching him or something. Hmm. But I think it would apply to all of us. Oh well. Game goes on. Not looking too bright for the uh, for the blue team right now. Uh, the gold is 20k to 25k. So there's a 5k gold lead for the red team at this point. And what the blue team needs right now is pretty much to ward off as much of their own jungle as they can because right now they don't have a single ward out on the map so if they don't have any kind of map vision they're not gonna be able to to crawl back from a situation like this and like the best way to get to get back from when you're behind like this is to simply ward up your own jungle and try to catch people trying to invade or trying to gank or whatever But without any kind of wards or anything, it's gonna be really hard to come back from a situation like this. And, and here you can see how strong Sin is compared to as said uh, at this point in the game. Like before super late game, Sin is gonna be like two champions if you compare him to Zed. Like Sin is gonna be so incredibly, uh, I don't know, like so much stronger than Zed at this level. Oh, so close, so close. Oh, he actually got him, that's good. It's nice, well done. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So yeah, this game doesn't look too good right now. Uh, there's so much pressure on every lane there is. 
and the blob is just running in like a madman. So he's going for his BT now, uh, which is a good item choice. Yeah, but I think getting a BT and then getting some armor pen is pretty much the way to roll nowadays on set. Like getting a BT, uh, then either getting a Brutalizer or getting a Last Whisper is the best choice, I think. So Diana is DCing, I guess, and that kind of sucks. Everything getting stolen away here. It's kind of sad. Diana is DC. I don't know. Estrel seems to be AFKing or something. And mm, this game at this point is just kind of sad. Mm. Need to take some notes. And you're good to go. Ouch. Getting Draven. League of Draven too strong. Oh, she rage quit. Well, fuck that. I hate people who rage quit. I hate people who rage in any way. Like, why would you rage on anyone? It's just so random. How would your raging help, you know? Why would you rage, uh, rage at anyone? Be your teammate or your opponent, doesn't really matter, like, why <laughs> would you rage at someone? Oh well, so, to sum up this game, it was a pretty short game though, so, not too much to say, but I know I noticed something, uh, I, no I noticed something, uh, a few things uh, to bring up. Like, the first thing, um, while jungling said, said is a really great, uh, said is a really good farming jungler, he clears the jungle incredibly fast. Uh, however, you're really weak compared to other junglers, so, said jungle, I don't think said jungle is, is too, too viable at all, actually, like, you farm the jungle really, really, really fast, uh, however, you don't have any kind of map pressure before level 6. Before you get your ultimate, your ganks are just so weak if you compare it to any other like aggressive bruiser jungler with uh, with gap closer. If you compare uh, if you compared yourself to Sin Sao that game, uh, you probably realized when you went to the kind of counter gank mid lane at level 4 or 5, I think it was, when he was 4 versus 4. And... Uh, you kinda got stomped, like Sin did so much more damage than you and he was so much more tanky than you as well. So you'll have to think about what you can actually do as such a squishy jungler as uh, as said uh, that early into the game. And you might wanna considering just, uh, consider just playing bruiser, like aggressive bruiser junglers instead. Like the tier one junglers pretty much. Uh, also, I, I really prefer to get Madrids on uh, on set because I don't think uh, the uh, spirit of the elder lizard is such a, a, a great item on on AD casters and since you're playing an AD caster in the jungler uh, or in the jungle uh, I think you benefit a lot more from madras like the camps nowadays they have they're built up so that there's one mo uh, there's one mm, what do you call it? there's one minion with a lot of HP and the other two or the other three as braves they are really low, uh, they're li really low HP, and you can just, you will kill them with your Q and your E combo anyways. So, the Spirit of the Elder Lizard pretty much doesn't help you too much while jungling uh, with that. Like, getting Madras, uh, you'll benefit more from Madras when hitting the big creeps, like killing them faster will increase your jungle speed a lot. So, I think Madras is the, is the choice to go here. And after matters, I would probably head for like a BT or a Brutalizer or something just to get more damage. Because if you don't have damage and if you're this squishy, you're not going to be be able to cope with anything going on around the map. You're not going to be able to 1 versus 1 someone or 2 versus 2 or and whatever. Because Set is not the strongest champion and if you're not building him correctly, uh, it simply sets you back a little bit more than than what you would need to. Uh, 
I don't know. That was pretty much it, I think. Just start at red, which is uh, always good when you're bottom side. Uh, since you want to get help from your bot lane and your mid, uh, it simply gets you one more guy to help. And it doesn't hurt the bot lane anything to help you with red, since they will make it to the lane anyways. They might miss one creep, but they're doing golems anyways. So starting red when you're bottom side is the best thing you can do. And starting blue when you're top side is the best thing as well. Because that's the same thing as the other way around. And uh, I don't know. That's prob that's pretty much it. Like if you, if you have any more questions, feel free to ask me. Uh, feel free to ask me if you have any more question. Uh, other than that, I'm going to save this replay. So it's going to be saved. Uh, it's going to be saved in the video tab of the stream. When you go on the stream, you can press uh, to the right. I think at the right side. What's the right side? That side. Yeah, if you go to the right side. Uh, you can see like a small ta uh, a small button up there called videos. If you press the video button, uh, the video will be saved below there. And uh, you can check it out whenever you want. So what I'm going to do now is to pretty much just uh, stop the stream and put it on again just to reset it and save the video below the stream so that people can watch it when they know. Oh, show him the notes that I did. That was probably, that was everything that I summed up for, uh, for you basically. Like, uh, it's only for me to sum up people, uh, to sum up the games afterwards. It's just to help me. Um, but these are uh, the points that I made and there are a few other things as well. Oh, I forgot one thing uh, Words like words is so freaking important. Like I can't I can't say this enough uh, But it's just so freaking important as a jungler You really want to communicate with your mid laner toward both sides of the river mm, I'm not sure I had a picture of the summoner's rift somewhere i think i'll have to google it now i need a picture of summoner's rift to show you guys where to ward and um, summoner's rift google that shit okay so this is a decent map i guess so here you have mm, the summoner's rift if you didn't know that you suck balls okay oh well so as as a jungler you really want to uh, communicate with your mid laner so that you have, if you're bottom side, uh, you pretty much want to have this spot and this spot watered at all times. So you might want to uh, communicate with your mid laner and get her or him to ward uh, here and you ward uh, down here or something. Because uh, buying wards is just, it still didn't say my epic pick. Yeah, that, that's kind of bad. You should find a feature, man. Uh, and you really need to, uh, you don't want to, uh, a, a very common mistake, I should say, uh, is that people tend to ward these small side brushes here, like these small brushes right next to the lane, and that's just such a bad ward spot, like, unless you're really, really afraid to walk out to here and ward, uh, it's just so, so bad, like, warding here gives you so so little vision if you compare to warding here like if you ward here you get vision around here and here and also around here if you ward here the walls are covering like half of your wall and you're only gonna see this little thing and also if the jungler comes to gank you from here and you, you see him when he's here and you're up here you're not gonna be able to escape anyway so try to communicate with your mid laner as a jungler or with your jungler as a mid laner to ward, if you're this side, you want to ward this brush right over here, and this brush over here as well. And if you're on this side, however, you want to ward this little brush here, uh, and this brush up here. It simply denies uh, the enemy mid laner to roam to both sides, and it also uh, pretty much makes your mid laner immune to gangs, because if you have if you're playing on this side and you have this brush and this brush warded at all times, uh, it's gonna be super hard for for their jungler to gank. And if the other mid laner for, uh, and if the other mid laner uh, decides to roam or something, uh, the chance is really the chances are really big that you see them walking up the river or walking down the river or anything. If you have this warded and this warded, like 
these word spots are so key uh, to winning games and it's just so important to word and picking up at least one word on your first back is pretty much expected of you as a jungler if you if you don't feel like you're super far ahead and you need to or, or super far behind and you really need that item for health or whatever but it's really key to buy wards and buying one ward on your first back as a jungler is is pretty much uh, required nowadays uh, but I think that's it for this lesson uh, I'm gonna turn off the stream and put it on again